Nobody gets handed the ox and they say, let's bump some Post Malone. No, he's going straight to garbage. Goat, awesome, good, meh, and garbage. Those are the tiers. We also got all these rappers right here. You see Rocky, Nikki. We're going to put them into what category they belong. So if I think he's awesome, I'll put him in awesome. I know a lot of YouTubers like to order them a certain way right here. Or like if they think Drake is better, they'll move. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put them in the category they deserve. And yeah, that's how this is going to work. If you enjoy rap reviews, rankings, tier lists, brackets, all that, I got them on the channel. So you could check it out. Subscribe if you like it. But yeah, let's get started. Starting with Eminem. I'm gonna go straight into GOAT. I think he's kind of solidified himself as GOAT. No matter how bad his future projects are or his recent music has been, I'm gonna put him into GOAT. A lot of people in my comments like to say the newer M lives up to the older M. I just don't agree with that. The newer M is kind of ruining his reputation, to be honest with you. But you can't deny what he's done in the past, so I'm still gonna put him into GOAT. And if you want to dispute that, just look at my channel. We have a lot of Eminem videos. Moving on, we got DaBaby, who I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put him into meh. There was a period of time where he had a couple good songs, but when the TikTok hype died down, his career was kind of over, in my opinion. Haven't heard of him since. Actually, he dropped an album, and every single song sounds like a YouTube to MP3 beat. The production on it is just so basic. Sounds like people made the beats in their bedroom. So yeah, I'm gonna put him in meh. Snoop Dogg, once again, I'm gonna put him in GOAT. He has the most iconic voice from the West Coast. And yeah, just like Eminem, he's kind of proved himself to be a GOAT. Now, Nicki, I'm gonna kind of compare to Eminem right here. I know that might sound crazy, but early on, I think she was better. And then she kind of just changed recently. Not recently, but later on in her career. I'm gonna put her in good, but she still made a pretty big impact in the female rap space. ASAP Rocky is underrated. If there's a tier... You know what? I'm gonna make a new tier, underrated, and I'm gonna put Rocky right into it. Rocky, like, low-key has never missed. If you go through all of his projects, nothing's bad, so underrated. I'm actually gonna move the underrated all the way down to the bottom, just to kind of hide it, but it's not worse than garbage. Next up, we got Drake. Numbers-wise, he's a GOAT, but music-wise, I'm gonna say awesome. Because this is about rappers, I don't think he has the rap skills to live up to, like, an Eminem or some of the other people we're gonna get to. But R&B wise, the commercial success wise, he's awesome. He's done amazing in his career. And to be honest, he doesn't really show any signs of slowing down. So I'll put him in awesome. Future kind of pioneered that trap sound. I'm going to also put him into awesome. Personally, I don't really listen to Future. I think it's kind of a normie genre, like the whole trap, flute, 808s. But you can't deny what he's done for the trap scene. g Easy, I haven't listened to too much. So take this with a grain of salt. I'm just going to go good. From what I've heard, he's kind of overrated but I also haven't listened to too much of him, so I'll just put him in good. Let me know down below if I should check out g Easy. Kanye West, we gotta go go. One of the best producers of all time. His samples on his collaborations with Kid Cudi, like Kidsy Ghosts, with Pusha T, you got Daytona, and all of his solo projects, honestly. Amazing productions, perfect samples, he's a goat. Kendrick Lamar as well, he's a goat. He has made some of the best concept records I've ever heard. With To Pimp a Butterfly, if you look at like how much a dollar costs, if you walk through like the art of peer pressure off good kid mad city kendrick has really mastered like the storytelling which is one of the most impressive parts of rap in my opinion kodak black kind of fell off i'm gonna put him into garbage i think there's definitely worse we're gonna get to but he has a couple hits that maybe you'll listen to but if you listen to most of kodak it's eh it's not not very good i'm gonna put him in garbage i think the baby in a rap battle, DaBaby would beat him just because DaBaby can freestyle. Uzi is overrated. So we have the underrated section, but Uzi is definitely overrated. It seems like he kind of copies what people do. In the beginning, he had Love is Rage and Love is Rage 2, which were two pretty big mixtapes, if you want to call them. But now, like, after he sees Cardi's success, he switches to that Rage sound. Ever since I got into rap, all I see is Uzi copying the trends, which I know you got to evolve. At some point, it gets old. I'm going to put him in good. He's better than DaBaby and Kodak. Lil Yachty is actually underrated as well. Lil Yachty kind of started off as a meme. Some of his songs, like Broccoli, people didn't really take him too seriously. But recently, if you listen to some of his freestyles and some of his newer music, I could bump Lil Yachty, and it's not as bad as it might have been a couple years ago. I'll put him in underrated. Another thing about Lil Yachty, he's kind of like Uzi where he rides trends, but he also is a lot more diverse. Like you see him rapping lyrically, you see him on, you know, those rage songs. You see him on like every kind of production, like even country. <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion, I'm gonna say she's worse than Nicki just because she hasn't really made an impact. I'll put her same tier as DaBaby right into meh. Every single song by Megan sounds the same to me. Nav, I'm gonna say he's good. Not too much to say. I mean, he's not amazing. He's not terrible. He's honestly overhyped, but he's not bad. Offset's kind of like Future in that trap sound. He was there in the beginning. He made Without Warning, if I'm not mistaken. I think Future was on that. 21 Savage, Quavo. I'm going to put him in good, though. Don't really hear about Offset too often. Same with Quavo. I'm going to put them both into good. Same reason. Post Malone 
Okay, as an artist, he's okay, but as a rapper, I mean, you gotta go garbage. Like, nobody gets handed the ox and they say, let's bump some Post Malone. No, he's going straight into garbage. Roddy Rich blew up with the box, a couple other songs, but he fell off. He was kind of like a one hit wonder. If you can name five Roddy Rich songs and none of them are the box, I'd be surprised. I'm gonna put him in garbage. Travis Scott's next. I have the perfect comparison. Drake is like the goat of R&B right now. Future is like the goat of trap over the past like 10 years. Travis is the goat of rage. Starting with Rodeo and even Astroworld, you see him evolving, coming up with like his own soundscape and then people copy it. People like Lil Uzi just copy it. Travis Scott's definitely changing the music and always evolving, which I can respect. Ty Dollar Sign. I bet you his monthly listeners are inflated because of his new album with Kanye. I'm gonna put him in meh. He's okay. I don't listen to him, but I'm not gonna say he's bad. And then Young Thug. I don't listen to Young Thug. I'm pretty sure he's got some whole case going right now. I'll put him in good. I can respect what he does. He's kind of like Lil Baby. I just think of him as another Lil Baby, actually. And yeah, I'll put him in good. He is what he is. And yeah, this is my tier list. Goats, we got Eminem, Snoop, Kanye, and Kendrick. And then underrated, we got ASAP Rocky and Lil Yachty. However, the worst, we got Kodak, Post Malone, and Roddy Rich. If you agree, let me know. If you disagree, tell me where I messed up. I'm down to hear your opinions. Just comment them down below. Thank you for watching.